Hello and welcome back to my channel. Last time I left, <clears throat> I had the background done, but I didn't have the fog set in. And uh, I did that off camera only because I was experimenting with it and wanted to make sure I wasn't going to just screw it up live on camera. So anyhow, sorry nobody got to see it, but I'll explain the process. So get a light on here. And I'm going to drop this down some too because I'm going to start at the top of uh, this guy's coat and work my way down. Then I'm going to lower it so you can see the process that I was talking about. this in the back of the slide just because there's like a 16th inch of slack so when I'm holding on this it doesn't like the whole easel's rocking but so the board itself doesn't like clack back and forth and rattle and stuff just makes it a little more secure all right so <clears throat> excuse me when I last left it um, all of this is real bright um, as far as it didn't have this fogness on it. And what I did is I took um, workable fixative, the kind I used is made by Krylon, and I sprayed the entire background with it, uh, I think three times, and let it dry thoroughly in between each time out in the sun. And it did darken the, the background and stuff quite a bit. And I have some touch-ups to do to brighten up some areas here and there, but I think the overall effect worked. Um, so after I sprayed it with the fix tiff, then I came in with a really light, cool gray uh, pastel from New Pastel. And I very lightly blended from here down over on top of all of the colored subjects and trying to focus on especially the ones further back they would be even more light than the ones that are further or closer to you because the smoke and haze that's on a battlefield from the gunshots and cannon fire and whatnot it appears to be lighter the farther you go into the distance so to give the painting a sense of depth the things further in the background need to be lighter and lighter to where you can barely see them. Oh, anyhow, that's what I did. Then I took my uh, soft pastel uh, blending tool and just blended on top of them. Now the Krylon fixative, it didn't 100% keep it from smudging. There was still some some slight smudging, as you can see, like in these border areas where I brought it in, where it picked up some of the colors. Uh, but as long as I was careful with it and didn't carry it off into other areas, like you know, red into green and green into red and back and forth, or brown into the background, as long as you're careful with it and just stay within those certain areas, clean it in between colors, you'll be able to blend it without having it smudge and muddy up and be blurry everywhere. So anyhow, that's where I'm at. And today I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna primarily focus on getting um, this character's red coat done. For some reason I can't remember his name at the top of my head. <laughs> Captain Jack, that's right, Jack Randall who was a, a nefarious bastard, <laughs> at least to say. If you haven't seen the series, watch it. I highly recommend it. Anyhow, <clears throat> I'm going to put my headphones on and listen to some uh, music and podcasts on Spotify while I do this.
I'm going to start off with darker. Go ahead. We'll darken with this all of the areas first. A little bit. I don't want to lose the spots. I don't know if I've explained yet why I use the green. <clears throat> but green and red are complementary colors. And when you are opposite on the color wheel, and you would, when you blend opposites on the color wheel with each other, they cancel each other out and create a neutral color, like a brown or a beige uh, or some variation thereof. So it creates a natural way to um, create good contrast and shadows without using black or dark browns or things that don't look quite so natural. But when you use the exact opposite of the color on the color wheel, it creates that natural looking shadow.
Before I get too deep into this, get some of these colors erased out so they don't mute what I'm doing. Just in case. That light gray that I put in, it's still active and live and can blend into my colors and lighten them, and I don't want that. Okay. Now the ones where it looks dark, don't worry about it. As long as it doesn't come off, you're cool. Let's see, like down in here. And you can just press and pull so that you don't blend and get what you don't want. And you can shape your kneaded eraser to match the shape of what you want to erase.
Ani itu sudah tu. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 